Hi everyone, it's Beck. I'm back again. This time I have a journal that I'm nearly finished. It's listed in my shop already, so I was doing that earlier. But I really want to finish it off with a couple bits and pieces that I've made. So I thought I would do that now and show you all this cute journal. Um, <clears throat> it's three signatures. It's really cute. I think it's cute. It's got beautiful, well, this needs a bit of an iron, but I'll do that before I send it off. And um, it's got beautiful closure of some satin ribbon there. And the cover, did I say hi? Hi. <laughs> um, the cover I've just made with a collage with a, um, a little doily and some really nice retro style scrapbook papers and these little tickets and a little cardboard. Um, I don't know what that is. It's like a bottle cap, fake bottle cap. And then I have this, um, I've, I made this just with a piece of scrapbook paper that had the blackboard image on it and um, put it on a bulb pin. It's like chipboard. So then inside, the whole journal's covered in this beautiful fabric that I picked up from a op shop. Um, it reminded me of feed sacks, so I bought a lot of it. I have a fair bit of it, actually. I really liked it that's why I covered the whole thing um so I've got my uh, I make my own fabric washi just with double-sided tape and fabric and I pink the edges so they they look really cute um, this is handmade paper I made this with my paper making kit um, there's some of that through there's this other really nice textured um, I don't know, like, it's just textured. I bought it, but it's handmade paper. And then we've got all of the bits and pieces in here. Cute tags. I've been working on this journal for some time. It's a come back to kind of journal. Um, this is uh, avocado dyed paper. It's very light, but it's definitely dyed. This cute little oh, made a little notepad on the back of this one. See, I don't even remember what I did. It's been a while since I played in this journal, but it's nearly finished. Oh, these are gorgeous little cutout die cuts that I got, and a little duck. So cute. Uh, I love these little banners that I do, little clips. I've got some more tags. So for this journal, I really wanted it to be kind of retro and bright. I wanted it to be bright. So I gathered all of my bits and pieces that I have collected that are kind of of that era. So is um, an image. I've had these for ages too. Um, they might be digital. Um, on I'll have to have a look on my computer. And then I've just put it on some book page, stuck some um, brown paper over it, stitched around it. A doily. Look at this coffee dye. <gasps> so good. Oh, I just love it. Some of them turn out amazing, don't they? Oh, here's a um, paper clip that I've just put some seam binding on as a decoration to hang out the top. And put one on the back too. Another um, little banner. That's cute. That is Nancy and Norma, I've decided. I love the, this little idea as well. They are, I got this idea from Gail Augustinelli. She was making these little envelopes a long time ago and I just fell in love with them. So I make those 
and make put them all together and make them into a pocket. Oh gosh, it's just so good. Just so good. That makes me so happy. <laughs> There's a little pocket that I just clustered together with a playing card and some other little pieces. Little tag. Love this little bauble hangs off the bottom. A bit cute. There's a banner, a little envelope out of this is made out of uh, vintage wallpaper. The yellow flowers are the vintage wallpaper, and then I've just um, put some gingham uh, paper on the inside. So that feels really nice. That vintage wallpaper has a really nice texture. Not like the new stuff, it's much thicker. But the new stuff is more vinyl, I think. And then we have another pocket with another collage tag. Look at that little bee. How sweet is he? So cute. This is like a, a sign-in book, arrival departures book. Um, blue paper, pretty sure that was an old book from school that we don't use anymore. Another pocket with another tag. Look at the little beetle, cute. <laughs> right, that's signature one. There's more, um, more handmade paper there right so this is a pocket that I actually made this pocket on camera so I need to add a journal card so I've got journal cards made here so I'll just go through that little pile and pop some in along the way there's a fabric flip I made these fabric flips from doilies Piece, doily pieces that were gifted to me they were already cut up and some of them had stitches on them so I've just collaged it's just paper like I've just stuck it on or sewn it on I think they're really effective there's a cute little sticker some airmail stickers on an envelope oh, that's right I think I was going to do some stamping on this one. I might have to try and dig out my stamps because that's an envelope. Also need to pop something in there. There's another little journaling card that I've made. Pop that in there. There's another pocket. Let's see if I've got something else that might work in that one a bit better. Well, they need to be stitched some of those what about what about that that's cute i love these too i don't know where i got those from i had a couple but i think i've used them all up in this journal no i've just stuck that on with some washi little library card with one of those little um, dressed up cats so cute a doily another little collage in the corner there and here's a fl uh, it's like a pocket in a pocket this one and they've got little tiny tags in there and one big one at the top I made a few of these they were fairly easy to make um i might do a video on how i made those because i like those they're very sweet little pocket inside a pocket inside a pocket uh these are oh, these are the center ties that i've just glued down with some cute buttons just some scraps of um 
the types of fabrics that I like. And oh, sorry, these are papers, but they are the sort of designs that I really had in my mind when I was putting this journal together. Tons of writing space in this journal. There's some more little bits and pieces that I've put together. Just little tags. Very cute. Another little banner. I think this um, at the back is where I need to put a few more bits and pieces because it's a bit bare. It's the flap. So what have I got here? I think I might have some pockets. I've got a little side pocket there. These aren't really in the theme, those ones, but this is definitely that I could get away with. That I could get away with. That's not really in theme. That, meh, not really. Not really. Not really. And not really. Alright. So, I think this one's really cute. So let's see. Where are we at? I could. Let's see how much I've got. Now I actually maybe need to make a little bit more stuffing for this one. So I'm going to put it here. Because I like this, but I think this is sturdier paper than the others. I like to put my um, pockets on something a little bit sturdy because I don't like it when they pull the page. Um, I, I think it puts a bit, bit too much stress on uh, the more flimsy pages and I don't want anything to tear. I want it all to be nice and strong so that it lasts a long time and you can use it. So I'm just using some fab fabric glue because it's what I've got handy that's nice and strong. Pop that on there. Yeah, she's so cute. And I love this, 19, that's my birth date. So I won't put anything in there yet just to make sure that it stays stuck down. But I'll come back to it. More handmade paper. That is a paper clip that goes over the top of the page. You've probably seen those made before. They're very easy to do. And then you can actually put a, um, a dangle on the little end piece if you wanted to. So I'm going to put a little journaling card under there. that paper that's um really nice texture i think it's parchment like as in not parchment paper that you use for baking but parchment paper like really nice quality writing paper it's lovely there's another little pocket there's another journaling card could go either way i think i'll pop it in that way Um, is that a pocket? Yes, there's a pocket there. That's a bit big for what I have left, but I've, I've got a little bit of sewing to do around some tags. So once I get those done, I'll pop a tag in there. This is a flip, which I've made. This was uh, from a, like a children's book, and I just loved those images. They're beautiful. So I made it into a flip pocket. So it's got the little side opening over here. So we'll take one of these and that can live in there. Yeah, perfect. That's just a little collage. 
more rotten places. There's another um, journaling card can go in there. Just a little side um, decoration. Well, these are, I think there was one back further, but these are the uh, stickers that I've cut out. The little book or a, uh, like a book plate. And I think I saw them. Where did I see them? Oh, yep. Yeah. Here they are. Here's one. That's what they looked like when I bought them. I don't know if they're vintage, but they're cute. No, I can't see a date. Oh, yeah, 95. Well, if that's vintage, then so am I, because that was the year I finished high school. <laughs> Oh gosh, those reminders hit you, don't they? There's another card and another um, little paper clip that looks cute. I could put another one here, but I think I'll keep the bulk down a bit. Uh, that is, I only have two left, and I'm not sure. Yeah, that looks good. I love him. He's cute. Might find me some um, buttons somewhere and do the same thing here. Here's another. I think I'll leave this one for a tag that I still need to sew around. Here's another. Which I've got this one and I've got this one. And that's a little tuck, which I think I'll put a tag in. That is a little tuck. I'll put that in there. Here's another place for a tag, which I could put a pocket in a pocket, but we'll see. And I think this is, oh no, that's, well no, it's kind of stuck down. We won't bother with that. I don't want to rip it. And the last pocket here, which I'll have to make something to put to go in there, and that's the back. So this journal is nearly done. I'll just get my sewing machine out tonight, and I will stitch around some of these. So some of these are triple stack. Um, just done the paper part of it which is um, I need to back that one too so you just make three tags and I usually go one color and then a, a contrasting color and then something that will match similar to that one and then I stitch around this one this the front one onto that one and then I stitch around this one by itself and I glue it on so there's no stitching on the back and you can write on that. And then here's this one. There's oranges. I love that. These um, pages are just gorgeous. And we've got this one. It's very bright. It's really pretty. And then we've got this one it's a bit more muted so that I'll have to do those and I might make another couple of large tags I've got these these shipping tags or I can just cut some out of cardstock and or use my leftover book pages to make tags with I also have in here some page edges but I don't think what I've got here um, is going to match colorway wise I think these might be a bit muted because um, they're more vintage like um, vintage vintage not bright retro vintage if that makes any sense 
so yeah I've um I'll finish this up and if anyone's interested it's on my Etsy I'll link it below uh, if you're watching me on YouTube and you like what you see, I'd really love it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That would really help me out um, just to know whether I'm on the right track and doing things that people like to see. Yeah, um, I'm enjoying myself doing the, these videos. Uh, any comments are welcome. Um, just stay kind. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Have a great night. Bye.